Samsung usually rolls out a new version of Android for its Galaxy phones and tablets by the end of the year. However, Android 15 Base 1 UI 7.0 has been delayed by almost three months. While this has been frustrating for many users, there's good news on the horizon. It looks like Samsung is working ahead of schedule for Android 16 Base 1 UI 8.0 as a test build has already been spotted on Samsung servers two months earlier than usual. According to tipster Tarun Vats, a new firmware version for the Galaxy S25 Ultra was recently discovered on Samsung servers. The firmware version is S938BXXU1BYC1 and based on Samsung's firmware number convention, it appears to be an early test build of One UI 8.0 running on Android 16. This is significant because it suggests that Samsung is trying to launch One UI 8.0 on time, avoiding the delays that play One UI 7.0. Samsung's firmware numbering system follows a specific pattern. The fourth letter from the last in the firmware version indicates the One UI version. Devices launch with One UI marked as A in this position, and when they receive the next major update, it changes to B. The Galaxy S25 initially launched with Android 15 based One UI 7.0, and its firmware version for the international variant is S931BXXU1AYB5. Here, the fourth letter from the last is A, confirming it is the launch version. However, the newly spotted firmware has the letter B, suggesting it is running an upgraded One UI version. At first, one might assume that this firmware belongs to One UI 7.1, which would be the logical step after One UI 7.0. However, there are three strong reasons to believe this is actually One UI 8.0. First, Samsung usually launches One UI X1 updates alongside a new Galaxy S series device, which hasn't happened this time. Second, Google is reportedly planning to release Android 16 in July, which is three months earlier than usual. Third, leaks indicate that Samsung intends to skip One UI 7.1 and One UI 7.1 while entirely to roll out One UI 8.0 as soon as possible. Putting all these pieces together, it makes sense that the newly spotted firmware for the Galaxy S25 is an early build of One UI 8.0. Typically, Samsung starts testing new Android versions in the second quarter of the year. Since One UI 8.0 has been spotted two months ahead of schedule, there's a strong chance that the stable version will also arrive sooner than expected. If Samsung can release One UI 8.0 on time, it will be a welcome change after the delays seen with One UI 7.0. This can also mean that new features from Android 16 will be available to Galaxy users earlier than usual. Samsung has officially launched the One UI 7 beta program for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6, bringing several software improvements to its latest foldable devices. While the update doesn't introduce major design overhauls, it does fix a frustrating issue with the Now Bar feature, making it even better than what's currently available on the Galaxy S25 series. For those unfamiliar, the Now Bar is a feature that displays ongoing activities in a pill-shaped icon on the status bar and lock screen. It's designed to make it easier to keep track of things like active calls, timers, navigation, and media playback. However, for some reason, Samsung has limited the now bar on the Galaxy S25 series and other devices running One UI 7 out of the box. One of the biggest complaints has been the missing media playback pill in the now bar on the Galaxy S25 and newer A-series phones. Normally, when you play music or a video, a small pill should appear in the status bar, allowing you to quickly access playback controls. However, on these devices, the media playback pill simply doesn't show up. Even worse, the standard media playback widget, which used to appear in the notification shade in previous versions of One UI, is also missing. The only way to access media controls now is by pulling down the quick panel, which feels like an unnecessary extra step. Surprisingly, this issue has been present on the One UI 7 beta for the Galaxy S24 series as well. Many users expected Samsung to fix it before the final rollout, but so far the problem remains. This has led to frustration among users who rely on the now bar for quick access to their music and video controls. But here's where things get interesting. On the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6, the now bar and media playback widget work exactly as they should. When playing music or a video, the now bar pill appears in the status bar, allowing easy access to playback controls. Additionally, the traditional media playback widget is back in the notification shade, just like in previous versions of One UI. It's unclear why Samsung has implemented this differently on the foldable devices compared to the Galaxy S25 series. Given that all these phones are running One UI 7, there doesn't seem to be a technical reason for the limitation. 
It's possible that Samsung is still fine-tuning the software and may eventually bring back the missing now bar functionality to other devices through future updates. Aside from this now bar fix, One UI 7 on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Flip 6 doesn't bring too many exclusive changes. The overall experience remains consistent with other Samsung devices running the new update. However, it is worth noting that some of the new Galaxy AI features introduced on the Galaxy S25 series are not available on the Fold 6 and Flip 6, at least in this beta version. Samsung's foldables continue to offer a unique user experience, and it's encouraging to see that they are receiving software updates alongside flagship models. The inclusion of a fully functional now bar on the Fold 6 and Flip 6 highlights how Samsung is refining its software experience to make everyday tasks more convenient. For those who have been waiting for One UI 7 on their foldable devices, this update is a step in the right direction. The improved now bar functionality is a welcome change and hopefully Samsung will address the inconsistencies across other devices soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Samsung's next clamshell foldable, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 is shaping up to be a major upgrade, especially in one key area, the cover display. A new leak from a reliable source has revealed that the outer screen will be significantly larger than before, making it the biggest cover display ever seen on a flip phone. This change is expected to improve usability, giving users more control without needing to unfold the device constantly. The latest information comes from display industry expert Ross Young, who confirmed that the Galaxy Z Flip 7 will have a 4.05-inch cover screen. That is a 19% increase over the 3.4-inch display on the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and larger than the one on the Motorola Razr 50 Ultra, which had held the title for the biggest outer screen on a flip phone. This new design is a significant change from previous leaks, which suggested that the Flip 7 would look nearly identical to its predecessor. Now, it appears that Samsung has completely redesigned the external display, opting for a full cover approach that seamlessly surrounds the rear cameras. A larger cover display means users will have more functionality without opening the phone. They will likely be able to reply to messages, check notifications, and even run full apps more comfortably. This could make the Flip 7 a more practical option for people who want a foldable phone but don't always want to unfold it for quick tasks. Beyond the screen, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 is expected to bring key improvements in performance and battery life. It is rumored to be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 processor, which should provide faster speeds and better efficiency. Samsung is also reportedly increasing the battery size to 4,300 mAh, a big jump for the 3,700 mAh battery in the flip sticks. This could help counteract the extra power demands of the larger cover display and allow the phone to last longer on a single charge. While the design update is exciting, some other details remain unclear. Samsung has not yet confirmed if the phone will receive any major camera upgrades. The Galaxy Z Flip series has traditionally featured a dual camera setup, and while improvements in image processing are expected, hardware upgrades remain uncertain. Additionally, durability is always a concern with foldable phones. Samsung has steadily improved the hinge mechanism over the years, and it will be interesting to see if they introduce new durability enhancements with this model. With these upgrades, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 could be Samsung's most refined flip phone yet. It seems to be taking on the Motorola Razr 50 Ultra directly, competing in both design and functionality. Samsung has consistently led the foldable market, and this latest model could solidify its position by offering a more practical and powerful flip phone experience. The official announcement is expected to take place in July, alongside the launch of the Galaxy Z Fold 7. More leaks are likely to emerge in the coming months, revealing additional details about software features, camera specs, and pricing. If Samsung delivers on these rumored improvements, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 could be the most compelling foldable phone to date. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.